everybody, Tom Sorcy here. Another storm ball motion analysis video for you. Much faster turnaround time than normal. Today, we are talking about the storm pitch purple. We get to do our first video about urethane. So as you will obviously know, our cover stock is urethane, the rev control urethane, an upgraded version of the control urethane cover stocks on the pitch black, pitch blue, and the fever pitch. Capacitor core, same one as you'll remember from your wonderful pitches of the past. Your RG257 differential 022, obviously lower with these urethane balls. And let's take a look at mine here. Pretty standard pin over the fingers, four and a half inches pin to PAP. This is actually a slightly weaker drilling and a slightly quicker drilling than the pitch black that we are going to compare it to. Which, speaking of, we're going to do things a little backwards this time, and you'll see why once we kind of get into the video. We're going to start with the pitch black, and then we're going to go to this purple. And normally I do it the other way around, but I wanted to do it this way because they are so different that it's a little bit shocking. At least it was for me when I was throwing the shots. So let's take a look here. One thing I will say immediately is that I am not someone that has had a lot of success with urethane. My, my rev rate isn't that high, and my my ball roll really kind of floats through the fronts really well. It's not very heavy rolling off my hand, so that's given me a lot of hard time historically with urethane, and you'll kind of see on this shot right here, when I get it to the right, I don't, I don't really get a lot of help with urethane. I can't get it reading as early as most people do. So historically, I've, I've tried to lean towards stronger urethane balls. I have used many of the Rotogrip hot cells. I've had three or four of them because I needed something that was stronger than the pitch black because I found myself both not being able to use it very often and also having to use like really, really straight, like almost right to left type of angles. So I had a lot of success with that stronger asymmetrical urethane in the hot cell, and even to some extent with the fever pitch, but it still didn't quite get the job done for me for what I was looking to do. So when this pitch purple came out, I was really excited because the prospect of a urethane that was strong enough that I could use it much more often than I've been able to use urethane in the past was really exciting to me. So you'll see right away here that immediately we can see how much stronger this ball is than the pitch black to the point where I was pretty surprised, but it didn't really stop here for me. Now, this is an experience that is based upon the pattern that I was bowling on, the environment I was in. So I made a move here, three and two off of those first two through the face Brooklyn. And I was rather surprised when I went almost Brooklyn again. So I actually moved another three and two and still trying to see if I could get it to look where I needed it to. And once again, we go through the face and I, I couldn't believe it. So how much I ended up actually moving by the end, I'm not really sure. It was a lot, like a lot more than I expected. And there's a lot of factors there. So firstly, uh, we're bowling on the pattern that has been used already for the other balls and some of the other videos. So there is certainly going to be some friction in the front part of the lane, especially as we go deeper because we were using stronger balls in those videos. On top of that, we're looking at this ball that came right out of the box. Obviously, it's going to have that stronger cover stock because it hasn't had any games on it yet. And after I threw probably a good 15 or 20, 25 shots and it started to get a little bit of lane shine on it, then you begin to, to see that it tamed out a little bit. So you'll see there's a couple here. I threw a bunch of bombs in a row. like They were all like perfect strikes. And then eventually you could see that once it got a little shinier, the 10 came out really late on that one. And on this one here, we got it a little bit to the right with the 248. So once it got a little bit of that lane shine on it, it tamed down. I was able to move a little bit back to the right and square up and have it look really good again. But I was absolutely blown away. It is something that I need to get some more shots with because I, I want to get used to it. I want to see once we let it shine up a little bit, what we're able to do with it, things I'm able to try. And uh, I think that I'm finally going to have something in a urethane that is symmetrical that I can use in times when I know that what I'm seeing on the lane is saying urethane will be good now. And I'm watching other people do it. And I just can't do it myself. I can't make it look the same. The other thing is, even though we have those hot cells with an asymmetric ball, when we start to see a ton of hook in the front, they're a little bit harder to control. And when you try to open your angles up, it wasn't as good. So this seems to be something where 
if I have to chase it in a little bit, there's a little hook in the front, I'm still going to be okay. Obviously, this is on a very small sample size of shots, and we're going to see if that's the case going forward when we get some oil soaked into it, some more games on it. But I have to say, I was blown away. I'm just excited to see how it will look as we get some more games on it. And I would have to use the word promising, I guess. Like, maybe there's finally something that will allow me to compete in those environments where urethane is the look. And it's about time, really, is all I can say. So I didn't do a lot of side-by-sides and things like that because I felt like they were so different visually, you'd be able to see the difference. So I didn't really think we needed to go bells and whistles or anything like that. Breaking it down, I put it at medium low friction created. Almost all urethane balls are going to be in the low category, but at least out of the box, this was significantly stronger than any urethane that I have thrown from us in the past. So I'm going to go medium low, hanging toward the low side of friction created because still compared to the really strong balls, it's still obviously much, much less friction created. And I'm going to go slow response time. And that's because that's the deal with urethane. The idea is that you're going to have slow, smooth, early reading balls that you can use to control your front to back ball motion on the lane. And even though this is probably a step up in quickness from a pitch black, it's still going to be on the slow end of the spectrum. So we would obviously call them both slow. This one is certainly less slow than that, but still in comparison to all of our reactive balls, we're going to call it slow. I know this one was a little bit shorter than usual, but I thought it didn't take a whole lot to see what I was talking about once I throw a couple of shots there. And hopefully visually that came across as well to you guys. Like I said, I'm not a guy that throws a lot of urethane, but I certainly want to get better at it because there certainly is a call for it out there right now in a lot of different patterns, a lot of different environments. And if you're not able to make those balls look good, then there are going to be times when you're giving up pins to the field and I don't want that to happen to me anymore. So hopefully this is something that will help me out in that regard. As usual, got to thank everyone that helps me out. Storm and Roto Grip, best balls on the market. Even more so now, as you can tell from watching me throw this one. Uh, BowlU, go to BowlU.com. A lot of great training tools on there. Let me know if you have any questions about them. Brad Angelo Lanes, let me come over, film these videos as always. And Tim Friends for helping with the photography and video of those videos. And lastly, Jim DeWitt, SoundCloud.com slash Jim DeWitt for bringing the music for me. This one coming a day or two after our last one. We're going to have uh, the nuclear cell coming up in about a week. And the Axiom not far after that. So keep an eye out for more postings. They're going to be coming in much faster than you are used to. Again, I apologize for any of the time delay there. Obviously, with what we're dealing with out there right now, things are a little bit tougher. And hopefully, everyone can get themselves back on the lanes and try some of these out here in the near future. So uh, leave any comments or questions for me, and I'll do my best to answer them. And I will see you guys next time. Thanks.